Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gunman, and today I'm going to be presenting you how to take your Piper gameplay and just bring it up to that next level. Uh, if you are a terrible Piper, let's say you're D tier Piper, C tier Piper, B tier Piper, or even A tier Piper, I'm telling you, these tips will help you out. You can go from the worst Piper in the world to one of the best in your local region or even in the world um, just with these tips. I won't be here long guys, just watch to the end because these tips are so good. I'd appreciate a like and a sub from you guys because, you know, I'm giving to the community and that would be your way of giving back, obviously no pressure. Um, and I will be doing a face reveal soon, I don't know if it's going to be at 2,000 subs or if it's going to be at uh, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, but it's going to be sometime around there, so I'd also like to know when you guys want that. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so before we get into all these big tips and stuff, let's first talk about the build that you want to be going through, some basic things about Piper, and um, some personal opinions. Okay, so first, the build for Piper. The build for Piper can really differ because it really depends on game mode and the map. So let's just first talk about Showdown. Showdown, you're always going to want snappy sniping as well as auto aimer. There's never an exception. All right, so in 3v3 modes in general, you're going to want to use snappy sniping and probably auto aimer, but again, depends on map. And opinion um, except for knockout and bounty then you're gonna want to use the homemade recipe gadget um, and then star power of your choice most of the time star power depends on if the map is bushy or not and then gadget depends on game mode as well as if it is a tanky map or not okay so tip number one is to master your range now, Piper has one of the longest ranges in the game. Um, I can't remember exactly. I think she has the third longest range in the game um, with Mandy at number one. Basically, Piper deals more damage the further out you are. So once you know your range, you can understand how to hit enemies from afar. Familiarize yourself with exact range of her shots. This knowledge will help you hit your targets more consistently and avoid getting caught off guard. This allows you to play from far range and have Piper be the most effective for your team. All right, tip number two, guys, is positioning is key. Get that in your head. Positioning is key. Just repeat it over and over. Understand what it means, okay? Piper's low health makes her vulnerable at close range. So not only does she have low health and vulnerable at close range, but she also deals practically nothing up close. That's why her auto aimer gadget can be so OP. So if you get caught up in a position where there's a brawler right up close, you can use that auto aimer gadget and escape even with your super as well. To stay safe and deal damage effectively, prioritize your positioning. Find spots on the map that provide you with ample sight lines to shoot enemies from afar. Use walls and obstacles to your advantage and always maintain a safe distance. These are very good tips. If you use a wall and just wall peek enemies, they can't do anything, as long as you keep them from afar. And also, don't waste your ammo, because wasting your ammo can make it so that you're vulnerable and they can just run at you. Positioning yourself correctly will give you the upper hand in every single situation. So that's why it's such a big tip. Tip number three is to predict enemy movement. When you learn someone's dodging patterns, you can easily predict where they're going to go next and how they're going to dodge your next shot. So you can put it in that position and then they will not be able to dodge the shot. Anticipating enemy movement is crucial for landing accurate shots. So pay attention to how your opponents move, especially when they're dodging or when they're shooting. Try to predict their patterns and lead your shots accordingly. With practice, you'll become better at hitting moving targets and consistently dealing damage. 
it's very important to hit every single shot because missing one shot with Piper takes like three seconds to reload and that's not good. Tip number four is to save your super. Piper's super, the poppin, can be a game changer. It allows her to jump to a different location while leaving bombs behind. Rather than just using it as it's available, save it for crucial moments, like when an El Primo jumps on you. As you've seen in some of my gameplay, there's been a couple moments where El Primo jumped on me, but I supered, so then El Primo's in a terrible position with low health because all he did was jump on bombs. And I was able to get a better position out of it. So as you can see there, I used my super to jump away from Anita Bear, and it allowed me to get in a better position, as well as survive the situation. It can be used for escaping danger, repositioning, or surprising enemies. Patience is key. Strategic super usage can turn the tide of the match. And last but not least, the last tip I'm going to give you, number five, which is utilize bushes and stealth. Piper can take advantage of bushes and her long range capabilities to maintain a stealthy advantage. When playing as Piper, try to position yourself near a bush and use them as cover. This allows you to surprise enemies and catch them off guard when they least expect it. By staying in the bushes, you can line up your shots without revealing your position, giving you a significant advantage over your opponents. Be patient, wait for the right moment, and strike when the enemy is within your range. Remember to consistently move and reposition to avoid being an easy target for enemy brawlers who may try to flush you out. Mastering the art of bush tactics will greatly enhance your Piper gameplay and increase chances of success. And there you have it folks, those are 5 tips to instantly improve your gameplay on Piper, to take your terrible D tier Piper all the way up to an A tier Piper, practice these tips and everything will be okay. I'll see you all in the next one, guys. That's all from me, and peace out. Bruh, I ain't got no chill.